Hello and welcome back. If this is your first time here, I am Dr. Stock, Doctor of Education. And in this video, I'm going to quickly talk about retail sales, what we saw with Home Depot earnings and what that looks like going forward. But the main thing that I want to talk about is two volatility plays and then two longer term plays that I have as I am a long term investor in both of those companies. I also want to ask you, do you know what dinosaur will not only hold your food for you, but also keep it fresh? It's a Pyrex. Well, if the hilarious jokes don't provide enough value and service, let me tell you that down in the description of this video, you can find a link to get up to 16 free stocks from Moomoo. I'll tell you more about that later. And then also down in the description, you'll find a link for my Patreon, which is where I post my exclusive content and where my community through the Discord is also located. That link is down in the description. I'll tell you what, the NVIDIA stuff with some of the people who follow over there got pretty exciting yesterday, and we'll happen to see what comes up from earnings. My NVIDIA stock price prediction and NVIDIA earnings forecast are also available over there. And I did say in this video that I would talk about retail, so let's do that, and then we'll get into Home Depot. So let's take a look at retail sales month over month. So retail sales, here it is. Came at 8.30 this morning, 0.7% month over month when the consensus is 0.4 and we have an upwardly revised previous month from 0.2 to 0.3. So still strength showing up for the consumer and I think that that helps out with the markets. Some of the trouble economically speaking with China dragging the markets down a little bit today. Let's go over to Home Depot for a little bit more. And so for Home Depot, there we go, reaffirms guidance that they have announces 15 billion share repurchase authorization. Wonderful. Let me scroll down from there that they are pulling back in the near term. If when you look at it on a year over year basis, it hasn't been a great year for them, but also with the high interest rates and the housing market be what, being it, what it is right now, you can see right here that they remain very positive on the medium to long-term outlook for home improvement and their ability to grow. So for Home Depot, which is a very well-established point in time company at this point in time, Right now, short term, they don't really expect much going for their business. So we'll see the next couple quarters how that looks. And we'll see if their stock price does happen to take off. I think from here, this is a wonderful launching point to switch over to the Moomoo Moo app itself. So here we go. What we're looking at is Home Depot's chart. And you can see that they've been on a pretty good climb recently. And their stock price did do all right, popped up to 338. I thought maybe we'd see 342, but with the markets being down today, it certainly adds downward pressure to that. And since then has sold off considerably back down to 329. Yesterday's close, by the way, was almost 330s. We, we were one, five cents shy of that, one nickel shy. Now for the volatility plays that I said that I would have for you, let's bring up the first one and that one is Moderna. And Moderna currently is sitting just under $97 per share, possibly that could possibly drop us down to like $86 or $87 per share. And I will say on the long-term outlook of things that Moderna has a lot of products in the pipeline that they have yet to hit commercial stages on. And as they develop over time, we might see that fill out beautifully and total addressable market is definitely going to be something to look for for the different treatments that they have. They have a partnership with Merck. I believe it's for a cancer treatment going along with that as well. So not a company that I know the ins and outs of, but from a technical perspective, I think we got 10% coming up real quick for Moderna. So being oversold like they are, it is possible that we recover and maybe we come back up to just over $100 a share. Maybe we start to see that 105. That would be 105, 106. That's about where we would have. We'd still be down below the 50 day as of right now. However, that would be a decent recovery, although we could possibly still continue that downtrend in the near term. And then on the downside of that, 85 to $86 per share. Should we see this start to revisit like down below 70, for instance? Like I said, as this thing de-risks and de-escalates its price, I think that it is worth checking them out and looking into them fundamentally to see if there is some value ready to go for Moderna or some value coming up with their prices. So 10% either direction in the near term on Moderna. The next volatility that I have for you is AMGN. There we go. Amgen. And so over at the Patreon, I did say value and service. And over at the Patreon, I put out a watch list of stocks. Amgen, I put on there on my long list on this day that we had good volume. This is on August the 7th that I posted that on there for my Patreon members for the community. And we've put up an additional 5% on top of that. And I bring it up because I think there's volatility coming for them in the near term. We possibly pop up to just over $270 per share, like $271, $272, I think is where we could see us going. Or 
to the downside of this after that big run up that we had because we are in the overbought territory at this point in time i think that we could possibly pull back to about that 250 dollars mark so a little bit more downside pressure i think coming for amgen however i think we still stay in a bullish direction on them if you guys follow any of these companies by the way feel free to let me know what you know down in the comments maybe how you're playing them if it's anything you would consider just whatever it is that you want to say down in the comments tell me how hilarious the joke was for instance the next one that i have for you not a volatility play necessarily however i'm just a long-term investor in this one that one's sofi and SoFi, I think, is getting ready to drop a little bit more for us. Maybe we start testing that firm support that we have right around $8 per share. And I will say for SoFi, something that I kind of have my fingers crossed on is that we have a good hard drop on SoFi all at once because I would love to sell some put options on that and take advantage of that premium. And if I get the shares that come along with selling that put option, then I get an excellent cost basis, in my opinion, for SoFi as well. So in the meantime, I'll just keep on slowly adding on those shares of SoFi for dollar cost averaging purposes and build out my position in that over time. So the other company that I have for you here is Tesla. And Tesla just did further price cuts for their EVs over in China. And also we know that deliveries for Q3 are going to be a little bit soft. I think we have stock price wise some darker days coming up from Tesla. I did say that we'd hit 230 before we hit 300. We're, we didn't hit 300. So that was so far right. We didn't Still didn't hit 230 though since I've said that. So we'll see if that ends up playing out to show me that I'm correct. If we do hit 230, I think that we could continue breaking down to the bottom of this channel, which puts us right around 211 or 212 dollars. Depending on how hard we fall, should we fall that way, I think firm support sits at about $200 per share. So we're going to have to watch that. Just below that 200, by the way, is our 200 day simple moving average that we have, which is right now currently sits at just over $196 per share. So it's possible we, we peekaboo a little bit down below 200. Again, if we get that hard fall in the meantime, that takes us a little bit outside of this channel, but I think that we will quickly return to it. We're going to have to watch and see what the markets do with that. And just as with SoFi, where I'm a long-term investor, I'm also a long-term investor in Tesla as well. So those price drops to me are buying in at lower cost bases and de-risking what I'm putting into Tesla and SoFi as well. At this point in the video, I'd like to tell you about the link for Moomoo down in the description is the trading platform I've shown you so far for my technical analysis. And they also have a wonderful mobile app that I've shown in my other videos where you get to see one of my favorite things about it is the early earnings calendar and the different analyses that it has for earnings. I also like the news updates that it gives. They can do a lot of things. Plus, they also have an educational side of the platform as well. And if you sign up using the link down in the description, you get up to 16 free stocks. Here's how. Here's your deposit tiers. $100 deposit gets you five free stocks. $50 cash reward at every tier, $1,000 or $5,000 tiers get you 15 free stocks. The $5,000 tier gets you also a free share of Tesla or a share of Google. So that's your 16 free stocks that you would get there. So take advantage of that if you guys would like to. I know that I would absolutely appreciate it. And it's also more value to you through this channel. And if you want additional value, check out the link for the Patreon for my exclusive content, which includes my NVIDIA stock price prediction and my NVIDIA earnings forecast. NVIDIA earnings, by the way, are August the 23rd after the market closes. And I'm very excited about the content that I put out there. I'll be putting out that update very soon over at the Patreon for NVIDIA earnings coming up. So also excited about that. I'm also excited to announce that I've started putting out my options series, put out the first video for that over at the Patreon. And I also have my watch list of stocks over there as well. My long positions, things that I look for in shorts, and then also my YouTube mentions are also available through that link down in the description for the Patreon. So come on over and sign up. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I am Dr. Stock, doctor of education. Remember my friends that learning is earning and we'll see you in the next video.